Oh my word, when I say I'm stressed, I can't even put into words how stressed I am. Anyway, this is the start of the biggest week in my career and I'm really, really nervous, but Jules has sent me so many lovely things. I'm just popping it all in my car because shock horror, I'm running late. I'm, oh, come on, car open. I'm heading all the way down to Devon to go to Bixton Arena to present the Cheddington Five Star. Incredible, do I need all these Fairfax things? Oh, do you know what? Yes, yes, you do always need the Fairfax things, Meg. Let's just absolutely pile them on in. Look at the car already. Oh well, not really my problem. Anyway, yeah, three hour drive, got a course walk to get there. To get for blah, blah, blah. Oh, I can't do it. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I've got so much stuff in here, guys. Oh my word! I'm like nervous. I'm late. I'm hungry. Oh, I was meant to make this into a roll. That's a bit sad, isn't it? Just a plain bread roll. I was going to put some ham in that. Anyway. This is what's coming with me. You can't actually see, I did an Instagram story. It's horrendous. People are getting a bit irate at me taking so much stuff. I'll see you at Bicton, or maybe at Sainsbury's because I need to stop there on the way. All right, bye. Ooh, we've made it. Oh my word, this is so exciting. Also, I'd like to confirm I'm, I'm off main roads now, which is why I'm allowed to film. <gasps> Oh my god, look, it's a fence. Oh, I recognise this. Look, that log was in the four star. Oh! Gosh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, that's big. This is huge. Woo! We've made it. I need some toilets. Look, there's the arena. <gasps> Eek. Okay, I've made it. So, feels very official being down here because this is like all of the media stuff. And obviously this is where, you know, people like me wouldn't normally be allowed to go. So I feel a bit excited. We are now having a talent meeting. You can see it's pretty fancy here. Robin's really treated us. I think us. I was just adjusting my bra, mm. to be honest. That's all right. Just away. This away. is behind the scenes. That's the point of this video. Anyway, I shan't film this too much because it might be tippy top secret. But yeah, exactly this is what we're doing. Okay, talent meeting done. I feel a little bit in over my head. I can say that now because this is going to go out after um, Bix has happened. <laughs> but spoiler alert! I'm getting very nervous, but I can't say that. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's all done. Sounds very exciting and I'm learning an awful lot, which is good. And it actually does sound all very doable. I'm just making a million notes and I'm gonna go home and revise as much as I can because I just don't want to be flapping tomorrow. And you know I love a flap, guys. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off from this vlog for the minute because we are allowed to go on a very exciting early exclusive course walk. You see, literally got to have like these special armbands to actually be able to go out because it's like top secret um so yeah we're gonna go and do that we're gonna buggy around and i'm going to make it a different vlog and it's gonna actually go out before victim runs which is exciting so if you're happening to watch this after Bicton's happened and you've not seen the course for some bizarre reason then you'll be able to go and find that on my channel anyway it's a bit windy and tie my hair up and start the second vlog They've been sneaky doing behind a, the scenes here guys um, we've been doing a couple of socials no, with Nicole and Spencer and I'm just kind of sitting on at the end um it's good is that half price or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feel bad just poking the camera in people's faces. <laughs> it's just the vlogging life, guys. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. So you've got Pippa Funnel. Yeah. Here. You've got James Avery in the middle. And then I think that looks like Simon Greaves. Yeah, it does. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Imagine if I'd have got that wrong. That'd have been so embarrassing. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll double check before this vlog goes out. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it looks, it looks right. And that is actually the horse that Pippa's on is Maya's Hope, which is the horse that she took to the Europeans in 2019. Okay, this is why I get nervous. It's because the knowledge that Nicole has is ridiculous. You're such oh. an inventing nerd. I'm just a geek, literally uh, such a geek. And here I am, can't even say Piggy's horse. Vinir Kamira. Vinir Kamira. I can't, yeah, I know, I can't now. say it with this pressure. Yeah, well, you're gonna have to learn by doing it. Just call course. her Tilly. <laughs> just walked the course. Beefy, as you'll know, because you've probably seen it after watching this vlog. We're now gonna have a little bit of din dins and then debrief for the first vlog and go and edit that. It's full on, we've not even technically started what I'm actually here to do yet. Back to uni days. Look at this, guys, institute accommodation. Here's a little uh, a little pan round. I'm currently in bed. So, how did the evening go? How's the day gone? This oh, be a bit of a blur, and it's literally it's not even day one because it's not properly started yet. Course walk was incredible, amazing experience to actually be able to walk around and see those gigantic fences. And the scary thing is, is that like Nicole was like, yeah, like that's normal. <laughs> It's mad. I think it's very different to from like seeing them on TV or seeing them when you go to an event. Like if you go to like badminton to watch, say, for some reason, like when you get up to them, they are just gigantic. And the technicality of them, like some of these lines, I just can't fathom even jumping through at, at like 80. And yet they've got these gigantic fences. Anyway, thank goodness it's not me out there doing it. But incredible, really, really enjoyed that. And Nicole is just a wealth of knowledge. So it's really nice to actually walk it with her rather than by myself. Cause I'd have just be like, ooh, that's big. And not actually even thought about, you know, like the topo topography, 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 topography of the ground. Should learn how to say that ahead of uh, Cross Country Day, T topography. Topography, topography. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, yeah, amazing walking with Nicole. We've got a, well, breakfast at 7.30 tomorrow. So I'll catch up with you guys then. Anyway, sleep time. I'll see you in a flash. Good morning and welcome to day, let's say day one, it's trot up day, it's the Thursday. I'm currently packing my car and driving back from the site because, well, from, from where we're staying. I've got my lovely Jules blouse, which I'm gonna wear with the jeans and I think the blazer today, but trot up doesn't start until this afternoon. Ooh, that's a little bit close to my face. So I've got a really cute little, oh, you can't really see, stripy jumper on underneath and then this pink jumper. It's a bit, ooh, a bit cold. Um, so nervous, you can probably tell from the way I'm vlogging. Literally, breakfast was put on this morning and I cannot, I can't bring myself to eat anything. Luckily, I've got Y food, which uh, you guys probably know. Meal replacement drinks. So like, all my vitamins and minerals in here. It's a drink, it'll fill me up and I can just about get it down me when I'm feeling super nervous. Morning! Okay, right, let's drive back to Bigson. Oh my word. I'm not sure I can do this. Ooh, it's chilly. Look at these cute jewels go. Thank you very, very much for sending me this. So, on site, we're gonna have a team meeting and then they're going to do loads of tests and training and things like that. Good morning! No, so you're always on camera. Everyone okay? I'm always eating. Literally always eating. That's fine, so am I. Okay, meeting all done. There's so many like technical terms, which I feel I don't know what they mean, like loads of abbreviations. I probably should know, given that I do like a lot of camera work and editing, but clearly I'm not intelligent enough for that. Anyway. Beautiful arena behind me. And then if we journey up here, we've got like the two production vans, which I'm gonna awkwardly poke the camera into and probably annoy people. Look at all that techie stuff. Ooh, very, very fancy, isn't it? Back as well. Lots going on. Ah, there's Nicole. Might be doing a quick 
podcast for equi ratings while we wait for training slash testing slash Meg getting really tongue tied and crying. Little uh, look inside here, guys. Oh. Big screen. You've got to look at the other thing, yeah, otherwise look. you just look like. Yeah, you look really weird. Hi. Hi. Stare at the camera, which is over in the corner there. This is a bit fancy. See why you uh, didn't want to eat garlic last night, though. Yeah, it's quite quite small. Quite quite small. Quite small. Okay, so I've currently got noise on in my ear. I've got a microphone, which is apparently on. Testing one two. Um, and I'm getting a little bit nervous. Also, walkie talkie. So we're just doing some tests at the minute, just to get used to being in front of the camera and get used to having stuff in my ears. And then we don't go live until like 2.30. So, got loads of time. Okay, just doing our tests, but I'm gonna introduce you to Josh. Nice He's to meet got you. got a camera about a million times bigger than mine. Yeah, putting my little Sony to shame that is. Oh, both Sony's though. Uh, right, so we're about to do mic checks now. All radioed up, got my earpiece on with some lovely white noise in the background. Nice and therapeutic. Feeling all right, although I haven't done any bits to camera yet. Bits to the proper camera. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so currently on the buggy. Off to the trotter. Oh, it's a bit ropey. Um, to do a range test to see, I guess, if the cameras and the sounds work when we're far away from the kind of hub. Yeah, cruising. Here we have Paul Tapner doing a fake trot up for cameras to sort of work out where they need to be. Oh, off he goes. Lame! We're all fired up down the trot up end. They're not supposed to canter like he did at the end. And if I'm well trained, Running and okay, I'm gonna stop. Gonna and I just keep running and I try and pretend to run anybody over. Okay. Hi. Take Hello. two. Hello. Hello, judges. Oh, Hello, good morning. Good doing? afternoon. Hello. How are you doing? Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, stand here. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good morning. Oh, it's afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> good afternoon, mate. Yes, you're right to go now. Okay, right to go. Thank you very much. Whoa, 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 whoa. Currently range testing up where we're going to be for the dressage. So. You can see some familiar horse and riders in the background there, warming up this morning ahead of the trot up, just this getting their horses the out, getting them loosened pace. up. I expect working on some last minute things before all the action kicks no, off tomorrow. To but to we're gonna be up here, I'm gonna be up here, and hopefully we're gonna be interviewing riders as they come out of their dressage, but we're just trying to get all the timings right because we've obviously got to do it in that little bit of space between when the riders, one rider finishes and the next rider starts. We've got about two and a half minutes, we think, because that's the kind of walking time. Behind me, <laughs> behind me there, there we go, is a big screen. So I'll be able to come out here, have a look at the screen. And Paul has just been giving me the once over on like what to ask. So he was like, don't be afraid to, um, to kind of, you know, if they think their horse was tense or if like, the feedback was that they were tense or their marks were low or their flying changes went badly and they got three or something. Don't be afraid to kind of bring up those points and ask if that was normal. Ask if, uh, <laughs> God knows. And I was like, but I literally ride at B90, B100. They're gonna be like, who are you to tell my horse is tense? But he said, they don't know that. Picture this, guys. William Fox Pit comes down, and I go, "Horse is a little bit tense, William. What's that about?" Anyway, it's going well. Feeling okay. Okay, it's show time. Had a little outfit change. Got my gorgeous blazer on. Very kindly sent from Jules. Not changed my shoes. Be back in two seconds. <laughs> okay, shoes changed. Can you see? I don't know. I feel really, really stressed, not gonna lie to you guys. Well, we are rehearsing for a minute now and then it sort of goes live from 2.30 and then from 2.50, I'll kind of be 
ready to be on. Oh my God, <laughs> mommy, I need you. What are you doing, Josh? <laughs> Sink <laughs> test, very important. He's actually um, clapping because I just did a really, really good piece of camera. <laughs> Oh, this is really quite stressful. We've done rehearsal one. I can't get the um, the waiting to speak bit right. Like there's such long wait. You know when you watch news reporters and they're just there like waiting. I have to do that and it feels so long when you're stood there. But then I just kept getting told that I wasn't waiting long enough. So now I have to have a cue because I speak too quickly. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We've got second re rehearsals coming and we're hoping to do that under like tight time constraints because we ran over the first time, even though I spoke at 100 miles per hour, which is really gonna be fun for the viewers. And then, oh my gosh, we go on air in 35 minutes. Okay, we're live in three minutes. I'm so shaky. Horse inspection here. We've done two rehearsals. They're gonna be fine. They're getting progressively worse. <laughs> I just said in, in, in specken or something. Oh, can't cope. Anyway, <laughs> fingers crossed. Okay, I've got to be really quiet. We started. That's David Dole just trotted up. Very keen horse. And we'll wait here if it's accepted. And the second challenge forward there for David Dole, Christy Knees, Farrow Point, accepted. So I've just done my two live pieces to camera. Guys, I was shaking like a leaf, but luckily it's all top half and it was my knees that were going so you can see. Anyway, look at all the horsies. How stunning. Well, the last form of the year to present for this man here today, this is Tom Jules, MHS King Jules. <gasps> this is amazing, like, I've got a real buzz, but Oliver seriously nervous. Oh, Oliver Town ends up, let's see. And the first of the ride. Right. Pippa Funnel with her second ride, Billy Walk On. <laughs> Him and Myers Hope were a little bit spooky. Simon Grease with Grease. Dr. Polly and Taylor's Mr. Fahrenheit the Third. So, he recognises Simon from camp. There he goes with Freddy. Mr. Fahrenheit the third accepted. Yay! And just about here, the laugh of Tina and Emma in the background, because they've come. Um, I'm done. First day of live production. Thin. I didn't do anything really stupid, I don't think. They're saying that I've not gone back to the producers yet, so that, <laughs> shall we confirm afterwards? Maybe that's the best idea. But gradually getting rid of the shakes. Oh, I cannot tell you how good it feels to get the earpiece out. It's so weird. I feel like I'm hearing the world through new ears now. <sighs> anyway, broadcasting all done for the day. I'm going to see Tina and Em because they're chilling over here. Also, get my battery packed to my phone because she is about to die done rather well though because we've been on it non-stop today really but yeah all done oh that's the least stressful day it's only going to get worse from here obviously because today there wasn't really much for me to do it was just getting used to the cameras and being live but it's fine we move guys we move <laughs> cheers a lovely pims everyone <laughs> so we're here watching arena familiarization end of a long day well <laughs> Say long day, it's the easiest day, isn't it? Yeah. Here I am. You're in shock for the rest of the week <laughs> because that's longer. We just walked past a massive screen and Nicole was like, that's where your our faces were going. I was like, oh, like you and Spencer. She's like, yeah, well, and, and you if you're on camera. I was like, wait, what? Why did I be on the big screen? Don't be on there. Because you, I, mean, I thought that TV. was for the ride. Meg, Meg you're on the <laughs> I'm TV. I'm not thinking about that. So, I'm not thinking about that. Like, everybody's seeing your face anyway. 
Mm. They just get to see it in big No, I know. Detail. Well, I'm just going to yeah. take a little bit longer on the makeup tomorrow, I think. Anyway, having a little drinky whilst watching the horses. Show them William. William. This is my, all my vlogs is just William really far in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> it was at Wellington as well. I was like, look, there's William. Acres away. <laughs> right. Sayonara. Do you want to see said screen? It's big. My big old mug is going to be up on that. Like, look, you get a glow off of it. You get a nice glow off of it. I'll get a selfie here later. Yeah, a bit scared about that. Anyway, we are now going to head home. We've got Riders Drinks thing to go to. Oh, that's very fancy. I'm a bit worried because basically all the rides are going to go. It's like a big opening drinks party for everyone and for some reason I'm allowed to go so it's going to be a bit scary going to that and we'll have dins and then I'm hoping to get an early night because I think we're going to have an early call time tomorrow pre-7 I've been told but we don't know how pre-7 it will be so I definitely need some sleep off to Ryder's cocktail party got a dress on but then you know yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to do yeah. that. I'm glad I spoke to you about it. I'm sorry no I was behind though. on no the... Socks. Oh, oh yeah, one best dress. Oh, no socks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, look at this. Very fancy. All the rides are going to be look here. So. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd have missed them. <laughs> day two at Picton. Well, they're kind of day one because it's dressage day. Excited and nervous. Nicole, how are you feeling? Same, same. Though you always get that buzz. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good day. Nothing quite like the cross country day buzz to go No, tomorrow. exactly. That's I'm like excited being in the for that. Start box ourselves. Yeah, and it's also, I feel like yeah. that'll be easier for our jobs because we'll be like yeah. buzzed and the rides are buzzed, hopefully. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. You're going to do great. Fingers crossed. Right, we've got a meeting again this morning and then it's pretty go 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 because I think the first horse is down the centre line at 9.30. Yeah. Initial briefing all done is going to be a very very full on day. I think we should have a chance for a lunch break in between but there filming a um, demo, like when the horses and the judges have their break, I say the horse have their break, horse going separately, when the judges have their break, they're filming like a, um, doing a dressage demo. And the poor cameramen have got to film that as well, so hopefully we'll get a little bit of a break, but I'm not sure all of the cameramen will. Anyway, oh, let me show you what I'm wearing. I have got a lovely little Jules dress on with my f, &F belt, but my F and F belt's a bit big because it's like, you know, a jean belt and I'm having to have it up here. It's meant to be on my hips and it's on my waist, so I've had to tuck it in and hope that it'll it will stay up. David Dole is first down the centre line. Let's go research thinking questions. Day two, I've been treated to a little box on my mic. <laughs> Let's get going. So we're down at dressage, just waiting for James Avery to come down to interview. I've interviewed Oliver Townend, which was very exciting. Um, but yeah, it's all go, go, go. I've got my mic. I'm going to try and set up my camera slightly so you can get like a little idea of what it's like. Oh, okay. James has actually gone and the next horse is coming down. So potentially won't get to interview him. <laughs> all changes a lot here. First lot of horses all done. And I've not had any major mess ups. I don't think. Uh, I should probably confirm actually, I haven't, I haven't actually spoken to the producer and the director. As far as I'm aware, I've not had any major mess ups. I've gone to get a beautiful crepe, shout out to, okay it just says crepes on the top. Shout out to crepes everywhere. This is really weird, I'm finding it almost harder to vlog now than be live. I don't know why, I think it's because when I vlog I'm normally like really chilled and I'm a bit in live mode. So trying to do live mode whilst vlogging isn't working out for me. I haven't managed to set my camera up for an interview yet, but it's all on catch up. So you guys can go and watch it on Horse and Country through the Elite Eventing channel anyway, so I probably don't need to do that. 
Anyway, I'm gonna nail this crepe and get back to interviewing. I'm having so much fun, literally. Dream job. <laughs> Today he's performed well each time. He's getting better and better as he gets older and gets stronger. And... I would have to agree with you. The potential look is incredible. Best of luck going forward and thank you so much for the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, well done. Thank you very much. Oh god, that would be really quick. <laughs> they were like, wrap it up, wrap it up. Look who I found! Yeah. No, we found you. Yeah, you that's true. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not allowed to go. I'm <laughs> stationed here. But absolutely smashing it. Yeah. Oh, I get so nervous. Is it getting easier? It's getting, it's getting better. Yeah. I feel better today than Robin, I did yesterday. It must be hard to like not just say the same question to each person because like you've only got pressure to ask. Well, like, I keep just being like, it's a trot look nice. It's already fit. So, got Gemma Tassin in the arena there with Chilly Night. First time at this level. I'm basically practicing for my interview to come, guys. First time at this level? Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah, thanks for that fat camera. Yeah, thanks, camera. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I like this bit. Just to confirm, I can go ahead and shoot this interview, yeah? Lovely, all right. I'll cut you guys in, all right? So I am joined with Harry Much now. You are quite a young rider in the field, not quite the youngest, but pretty young. How does it feel coming and competing against all of these big stars? It's pretty amazing. I mean, it's my second five star, so I did badminton as my first one. So there's a little bit less atmosphere here, which was good for the horse. But I mean, it's still an incredible place. So the atmosphere is amazing and the competition is amazing. So yeah. I love the cross country the most, so I can't wait to do it. The course is looking hard and hilly, and we're here in June, and we had a bit of a rough ride around there, but different prep, different event, so hopefully different result. Absolutely. Well, we wish you the best of luck going forward to cross country. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you so much. Me. Smashed it. So I've lost Josh, the cameraman, because he's gone to film a demo. Um, Pip had a bit of a nightmare this morning. Her horse pulled a shoe, so she's having to go late now. But it means I have the best job in the world of sitting up on the bank. With her and uh, yeah, a bit sad I won't get to interview her. Although she's got a second ride, so I'll be able to. Woo! lunch we've got Richard Skelt just coming down yes. here just give you guys a little behind the scenes so Josh is filming them coming in and then coming back out he gets a few crowd shots and everything and then um, obviously we do our interviews I need to make sure I'm not vlogging this camera <laughs> Not be professional. Right, I have to watch more dressage. Best job in the world. Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick bit to kind of show you guys how I'm prepping between each rider because obviously I have like a reasonable amount of time because I always have a dressage test at least to sort of prep. So, firstly, I've got the program which has like little bios on each of the rider, it has their age, has like previous form, the horse's age, things like that. <laughs> 
saying that, Felicity Collins' age is actually wrong in here. It says she's 21, and I was like, you are the youngest in the field at 21. She was like, oh, I'm actually 23, but they keep saying we're 21. So I was like, okay. Um, yeah, so I have the programme. And then on my phone, nearly lost my apple, I have the Equi Ratings Media Center. So on here, I can literally type in any name. Uh, come, we've got the first oh. Richard. Oh, hang on, I need to go. Ready for an interview. Got Simon. Yay. Let me zoom in. We're going to try and get Simon, who's on now, uh, because Meg knows him well. Who's ready to see Piggy March? So all going well here. We've got Sarah Dowley in the arena now. She's a first timer at five star, as is the horse. I'm gonna pan round and show her walk to Kempters. Quite hot and uh, she's full of blood and yeah, so she's ready to gallop for tomorrow really. Um, but I, I was thrilled. 37 at this sort of level is a PB for her. Um, you know, it's not too far off the lead. She's pretty good at her galloping side. So um, no, look, she stayed in the arena. She stayed fairly rideable. I'd sort of sit very still and uh, sort of hope and pray for a few of those changes. But no, in general, I was really thrilled with her actually. Um, but no, I'm excited for it. It should be good. Well, we wish you the best of luck and hold on tight on that roller coaster. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> Thank you, David. You. Cheers. Thank you, so much. Thank Thank you very much. Very much. Bye. <laughs> I'm still roller coaster. Still like, mm. Life is a roller coaster. <laughs> just gotta ride it. <laughs> just watching Pippa Funnel, and she's doing an incredible job getting a little bit giddy for interviewing her because she is such a big inspiration of mine. So I'll try and film a little bit of her test. I just had to interview the grand jury and I managed because like so as they were queuing to us Robin the producer in my ear was like they've not been introduced like no one knows who they are so you need to say all their names and introduce them and I was like because oh, I was desperately trying to learn their names in the correct order anyway managed it I messed up a little bit at the end I was talking about the cross country and I was like look forward to watch it she said watching it anyway very good first proper day and excited for tomorrow Oh, I've got like such a buzz. I'm actually really, really enjoying this. Oh, it's very bright. Oh, very bright everywhere. Eee, so happy. Well, that is a wrap for today. I think, I hope. So look how quickly things change around here. The dressage arena behind me is already being packed away. 
ready for cross country tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm really hoping that where I'm stood, I'll be able to see the water because I think we can be at the end. So hopefully I'll be able to see the water. Sorry if I've already said that. I'm really excited about it and I said it to quite a few people. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go and try and find T and M and hopefully get a drinky poo. I don't think there's anything on tonight because there normally aren't any parties or anything because the riders are getting ready for cross country tomorrow and uh, can't do anything naughty or scandalous. I don't really. Swaggy. Oh, Em. Oh, I've not bought mine. <laughs> I was like, they're so lovely and warm, they'll be perfect. Oh, damp. I don't know why. So. This is the it's dressage day still, oh, <laughs> and yeah, still I'm with my me? besties finally, and I can relax and be with them. We just come back you to can't be as cozy the as us, though, can you? Can't. Do you want a hoodie? Oh, you've got it's alright. No, no, I've got to be coat on. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm not cold. I'm just I feel left out. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've come back here because T has got some amazing photos for me. So mm, yeah, I've begged her to download some of them so I can put them on Instagram. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, it's just really annoying me there, I can see it. Uh, yeah, and we're going to chill down here for a little bit. The lorry park is literally there with so, all the riders. From here at 12 o'clock, we have got the Billy Stud. Hello, the funnel the paper funnel. And then to the left at 9 o'clock, this side, we've got Thank you. March. I think it's more about the left. And I thought they would have parked closer yeah, to each other. Because they're realize. like besties. Uh, right, they're like you right two. Next to each other. Oh, they actually are next oh, to each other. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, there sorry. There was a lorry here, a little three and a half ton, with a lovely little <laughs> chestnut. This morning, yeah. It was, it was only love... Lara Tyndall. Oh, yeah. We yeah. didn't know. Beautiful horse comes out. We're like, like, how's somebody in white at like half past eight in the morning? Yeah, we could yeah. work it out, could we? And then I saw She did the test ride, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah, I saw in Bicton's arena. Your dog's just had a poo there. Oh, thanks. Oh god, this is a, the uh, off glamour <laughs> reality. Anyway, we are going to have a little bit of <laughs> little bit of Chinese and uh, some Aqua Mineral, sponsored oh my god, that by that is tasty. Buxton. See you later, guys. So this is what it's like driving out of the gorgeous Buxton. It is eight o'clock now. And don't worry guys, this is all very off-road, so it's okay to be filming and being very, very slow. Yeah, we're heading home, that's Nicole in front, and oh look, the Volta Design Stand! We need to go and see them tomorrow, my amazing saddle sponsors. So yes, heading back to the accommodation to try and find some eats. More attractive. Hello, Nicole, water water still. Water still. Good job. Occasionally, here, Nicole. <laughs> These are trackers watering the course. I'm gone till at night. Driver, you may continue. <laughs> <laughs> Going over and pizza. Okay, so it's late at night, and we've got pizza. I don't actually really know where we are. We're at a random B&B &B with um, some grief. Some some don't, don't really know why you're here, Steve. Don't really know why you're here, Steve. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, my camera lens is steamed up. Hang on. Oh, is that oh. I hope this is making all of you very, very, very hungry. It's been a great day. Good night. Yee! It's cross country day! And look what a beautiful day it is. Oh, they're still watering the course. Literally been going all night. Anyway, I need to get rid of because everyone else has left, so uh, bye! Guys, we might have a bit of a problem. Apparently, stripes don't show up very well on um, like the camera. So I've got to do a screen test to see if I can wear this dress. But I don't have another one with me. Anyway, this is the dress I'm wearing. I'm having to put my FNF belt on because I need something to attach my radio to. <laughs> I've also got my beautiful FNF boat shoes, looking amazing. Anyway, it's time to pick a brekkie because it's so go, go, go. There's literally giving me no time to eat. Like we've not had any brekkie put on. So I can have vanilla Y food, coffee Y food, happy banana Y food, or coconut Y food. I have had the coconut corn, I like it. 
no, I'm going to vanilla. Vanille, literally, would be a little bit lost without these this week because I've had quite a few of them in the mornings. I say quite a few, I've had one every morning. Dress has approval, I don't need to go and buy stuff, which is a real shame. <laughs> I was quite excited to go shopping. Right, well now I just uh, wait for Josh to get his stuff together. Are you excited, Josh? I'm so excited for today. So I'm, excited. I live to be in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're hoping one day I'll just pick this bad boy up. Just okay. we're reverse. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going in the buggy to the start slash finish of cross country to do our, our range test. Right, down by fence 22, the water. My radio's going nuts. Uh, I think I'm in trouble. Three, um, we are going to do some tests down here and then I've got to interview Captain Mark Phillips about the course. <laughs> Every day it gets scarier, guys. Um, I'm going to make a hip clip friends. as well. Also, fun fact, I just managed to trick Josh that if... I need to be on the mic, <laughs> sorry, I'll tell you later. So back with um, Josh now, and as I was saying guys, see that fence there? Fence 22A, got like this really big brush bit, obviously decorative, it's to make the uh, bit that you actually jump narrower and make the line more difficult. I told Josh that if they had penalties earlier on in course, they could opt to jump the big bit. Bearing in mind, let me show you how big the big bit is. The big bit is like a puissance wall. <laughs> I told him they can they can choose to jump that and their penalties get wiped. <laughs> and he was like, that's awesome. Like, that's such a cool feature. Bless him. He's not very horsey, so you might better tell. <laughs> anyway, down in the water, waiting to interview Captain Mark Phillips in the sun. What a day. Interview with Captain Mark Phillips done. My heart was beating. I think that was the one I was most nervous for. Um, and then intro done up at the start. That was so stressful because obviously it's cross country day. It's the biggest day of viewing. And there was so much in my earpiece going on and I was getting really stressed and then like Q Meg and I was just like, <laughs> but I think it went okay. Anyway, we're now warming up as you can see. So we've got David Dole, our first rider, and then we've got Oliver Townend on his first ride. MHS King Jewels, is that the right letters? So yeah, I'll try and film a little bit of the warm up because I think that's really interesting. I wish you guys could hear the radio. This is like very intense right now. Silly. <laughs> they just said there's a bike in front of you, Josh. <laughs> so there goes David Dahl up to the start. Okay, he's got 30 seconds to go. Oh my god, I feel nervous for him. Jeez. Literally cannot imagine what it's like to be first out on a five-star track. Ten. Come on, David, go clear. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck, David. Yay! Good luck. Lots <laughs> of uh, happy shouting in our ears, guys. Yay! Clears the first. This is very intense. Oh my goodness, it is so intense. Oh my god, two out, no one home yet. But Horrig, you think? Yes, Close. yes, don't jinx it, he's so oh, near yeah, the finish. Yeah. So near the finish. We've got a little screen that we can watch in there, which is playing the live stream, but also we can see bits of the water. Also see the flags of the white rings <laughs> out there. So I was looking for their hats. Like going over. Meg's just waiting for her first time to actually interview someone <laughs> after cross country. <laughs> you might yes. be waiting all day, Meg. Yeah, I might. <laughs> that is right. Mm. Oh my God, he's coming. He's coming. Good. He's coming. Good. Yay! 
Just trotting down now. Wow, this is incredibly fast. It's literally like Formula One. Okay, this might be the last vlog update, guys, because it is frantic down here. We've just had Francis Whittington come back. So much time in my mouth, but yeah, I'm literally like pulled in and out for interviews, and we have so little time. And obviously, like, there's not much time in the broadcast to actually put interviews in, so it'll probably be really quick. And I feel rude to riders, so I'm trying to hurry them up. Um, but no, it's amazing, but literally not a second. So I'll probably catch up with you at the end or when we get a quiet a bit. I'd also like lunch. Okay. So many years gone by, but I think about you, about you all the time. Looks like you're changing and all. Oh, the end of such a frantic day. I mean, it was more, a little bit more frantic for Josh and James because they were running back and forth trying to get the start shots. I was uh, stressing at the end, just trying to work out who we could interview and things like that. But my goodness, did this Bixton track cause so many problems. It was a really tough track and the terrain was taking it out of the horses. So yeah, it has been a mad day. We're about to go down to the press conference and film that. And then we're free! The Pink Conference! She goes into the show jumping on a dressage score 25.5. It's Great Britain's Picky March! Oh, Thank you very okay. Much, Good luck amazing tomorrow. to have and enjoy three the rest of your day here female the riders Clinton, at the top Clinton for Star. Great Thank Britain. Incredible. Pippa in third, Gemma, and then Piggy out in front. Oh, it's going to be exciting tomorrow. It's going to be nail biting. Like you said, not even a pole between them. Not even a pole. Currently having another dream job moment. Oh, no, they are naughty. For real making. <laughs> Just, we've just been doing a little interview yes. with Cameron. Yes, we've had yeah. such a good day, such a good day. It's been oh, amazing, amazing. I just love that we get to come Aren't out Aren't we the this luckiest? It's so Absolute good. luckiest. Yeah. So good, but show jumping tomorrow. I know, it's going to be a gonna real be. nail biter. Totally, totally. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I know, picked all my nail on and shot. Not as bad as mine though. <laughs> I've got so well, they chipped and I got stressed. I was just like, <laughs> peeling them away. Anyway, amazing day. We're here yeah. by this famous burly fence. You know what? We've just jumped off it, so you need to go over. T, are you posting that reel? Yeah, I'm think? gonna post it. Yeah, oh, yeah, ooh, I'm gonna put the it up. I'm learning from you girls about how to yeah. put stuff up properly on social media. Yeah. I've learned reels. I've learned question boxes. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, that was good fun. I'm just seeing it's actually wider than my leg. Is it? Go, go again. Lie down. Wow. <laughs> they jump that. There you go. Just to give it a bit of an. And then look. So this is M's yeah. toes, and this is where this the is where horses are taking off. off. And that's with my hands above my head. Take off, oh, and then we go. Goodness. Walk, 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 walk. That's land. nuts, isn't it? Nuts. These horses are incredible. Oh, my gosh. Ah, amazing. Such an amazing day of sport. Anyway, 
I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on. So, this is going to be the end of day two slash three slash four because I arrived on Wednesday. <laughs> We are currently at the uh, riders party and we're having a little, a little, I was about to chin your quiche. <laughs> you can drink my quiche if you like. <laughs> we mean quiche, we do mean quiche. <laughs> um, it's very nice. It yeah. sounds lovely. We have got events through a lens here, who has just given me some incredible footage of Piggy through the water. So it's going to be popped up on the screen. And make sure you go and give him a follow because you've got amazing content. Thank you. Incredible. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, anyway, we're going to say goodnight. We're hoping that some uh, fun riders will come in and we'll be able to go and speak to them about horses and that all went yeah. really bad and stuff about cross country about the show jumping that's been put up oh yeah I'm pretty sure and then Ooh, there was yeah a little sneaky look let's show you guys top secret da -da -da. if I haven't said it before literally best job in the world best job in the world anyway good night from I'm blurry <laughs> day no, it's really day two, isn't it? From dress up and show jumping. Day two at Bigton. Chin chin. So I helped with the Olympics and now I'm here. It's the final day. <gasps> Exciting and also a little bit sad actually. Um, I really enjoyed it. I am wearing my jewels top. I'm also going to put that blazer back on because we've got to do another trot up this morning. So obviously, like, you need to be able to this now. Anyway, another day, another buy food crazy coconut i meant to say throughout this whole video maybe i'll pop up at the start as well um you can use the discount code elf 10 to get 10 percent off my food and there's also a special link which i'll put in the description um yeah they're insane for days like this like we do not get a chance to eat until lunch so it's very very helpful because they actually fill you up and it doesn't fill you up with rubbish it fills you up with useful vitamins and minerals so Highly recommend. I think my oh, I really enjoyed my vanilla one yesterday. You know. mm, I was gonna say my favourite's chocolate, but who knows? Anyway, I'm currently changing my shoes because I have my beautiful F and F sandals on, but I can't really wear them around horses because I don't look very responsible. So I'm gonna do that and then head over to the meeting, which is in like three minutes. Meeting all done. Ooh, fight. Let's go. So. Gosh, the shoe jumping is massive. And there's so many fences. My goodness. Hang on, let's just have a little... Look, we've got the Voltaire design one over there. I'm going to zoom. Bear with. Look how many shoe jumps there are. This ain't no B90. One all the way over there. Got the triple. Oh, my word. <laughs> they just keep coming. That's a lot. And they've still got like the old cross country fence in, you can see over there. It's going to make for interesting lines, isn't it? And those cross country fences. Anyway, I'm very excited to watch this and I should have a good ringside view, which is fabulous. We need to go and do camera tests, do range tests, do screen tests. My bright green, hope that looks right on the screen. There's a rhyme early in the morning for you guys. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and then we can go do first, second horse inspection. And yeah, cover that, and then there's some demonstrations, there's a dressage one, and there's a high jump one, so I will try my absolute best to film that, because that will be exciting. Um, and then it's into the show jumping. And then we'll find a winner! I kind of think it's going to be Gemma that wins, and I really quite like that, because I think that would be her first five-star win, and she's just lovely. So, we'll see. I mean, they're all lovely, literally. Any of those lovely three, or Roz winning, I'll just be so gassed because I'd love to have a GB girl win it. So let's see. Three minutes to go live. I've just operated the camera. Really easy. Really, really easy. <laughs> Anyone could do it. Great zoom. I've had a good old zoom around Bicton Park. Anyway, at the second horse inspection. About to do a little intro and then watch some ponies trot up. I need to be very quiet because Josh is filming. We'll see behind me, whatever. I'm going to give you a little insight into what it looks like when can, Josh is going uh, on. Hmm? Just waiting for the next horse to come. So far, Oliver Townend and Rodrigo McCarthy have got through and accepted. 
I keep saying got through clear. That's wrong. Coming forward now, we have a pinball from Great Britain. Yay. Here comes Gemma Dodson, currently in second place. Billy Knight accepted. Yes. Okay, we're in the shoe jumping arena. Let's show you how big these fences are. Oh, the Voltaire Design Jump. How topical. My amazing sponsor. Here we are, up to the shoulder. So these are 130. Which, guys, is actually the highest jump ever jumped, but of course, we've only jumped one of them. So, so number one, oh, yeah, I yeah, it's got to be that oxer. Be that oxer. Oh, the sheepies oxer. Uh, another jump, yeah. This is a um, jump that you can always get out of hunting. The tulips. Anyway, it looks rather stunning. Very, very lucky to be able to actually come out on course and walk it. It's a real treat. We're going to do a reel for course country so go and check that out if you want to see the entire course yeah have a little walk oh it's justin beaver yeah. oh we were justin beaver. here we are justin beaver <laughs> there was an instagram yeah. poll on elite eventing and i had to announce it yesterday because <laughs> people voted what to call him and they've called him justin beaver apparently they released beavers here at bicton park to i don't know what beavers do eat some wood or something yeah i don't know Anyway, course walk time. Say goodbye to the beautiful arena. Look at the grass coverage. Stunning. They're my Jules boots, by the way. Next load of rehearsals. So, oh, it's a jam-packed schedule today because we've just had a dressage demo in here and now they're gonna do a high jump demo. So in between that, we're having a quick rehearse. Do some throw-ins. Try and teach Josh to use the camera a little bit better, hopefully. He is getting there. He's got the off and on bit, so it's just a few more bits to teach him. And then, yeah, high jump and show jumping. High jump, but yeah. guys, high if I do it here, you, la you cheer it even louder off this first three. Cameron, Cameron. presenting it like an absolute yeah, hero. I think you can go up another two or three holes straight away. Cameron, the comedian. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron's trying to get him to take their clothes off. <laughs> yeah. Naughty. <Naughty. laughs> What, uh, it's always easier. Elliot down, and yeah. Alfie, is it? Mm -hmm. The riders? And Very interesting. They're already at 1.45 and it's the second dinosaur round. And dinosaur and banks. Yeah. Well, he's not actually called dinosaur. Oh, short. People love the first fence. Yeah. <sighs> heavy breathing. Yeah, this time, didn't jump off mode. Woo! Yeah, come on, Alfie. You can do this. <laughs> Do we think that's an item of clothing, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Elliot, Elliot can do the stripping for me. I've got a dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> so we should have done this, girls. Yeah. We'd have got to 1.05. Yeah, you know in the uh, main arena when you said just take the top rail off, we'd be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure that'd be the case for this one. <laughs> no, we take a few more than the top. <laughs> woo! 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 Actually, I quite like climb on to <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Did they say it is 180? Yeah. I just need a circle. Oh, can you imagine? The horse would be like collapsing. <laughs> Too many circles. <gasps> wow! Over there, 
there, guys, on the bank, we have Five, Gemma Tassel. Have I gone far enough? Than that. Come on! Oh, you can see there, Gemma and her mum in the middle of the screen. Gemma's currently in second, but fancied a bit of a high jump. One metre ninety, this, guys. No, you stay here, Oh my word! Wow, we have amazing. Pressure! Elliot's turn. Nice well, do you want Heineken or Stella, Elliot? Stella! <laughs> 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 Beautiful, right? Oh, you're good. Oh, you're good. Well, lovely to have you there for our Okay, James Avery up next, I believe. Let's see how he jumps. So, James Avery and Mr. Sneezy. Yeah. I've got the shakes back, but not because of nerves, because of pure elation for Gemma Tassel. I cannot believe she's just won her first ever five star on a homebred horse. Oh, I don't know, it's something about because we've got two homebreds at home, I just really, really wanted her to win and was felt really emotional when she came past. Um, but yeah, she got to interview her and she's incredible, a very emotional interview. It's very rude putting music on now. Um, but no, absolutely incredible. I just had the best time ever. Anyway, it's prize giving now, so I will try and film that, but uh, I'm still a bit shaky and jittery and excited. Prize giving. I had to go and change my job. I was so hot, but I've got a million wires down it now because I got all caught up. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I would uh, ask you to stand uh, to hmm. acknowledge the win oh, we can stand up for Gemma Tansel with Christmas Stone's Chilly Night, Great Britain. And she also wins the uh, Chatham shoes, a pair of Chatham shoes for being closest to the optimum time. Wow. Woo There's uh, Josh and the High Viz guys, do you miss them? And uh, Gemma's owner, Christopher Stone, he gets something special as well. He gets the Salkham Gin. Second to the panel. <laughs> and third, Piggy Marks. One of our top riders in the country, and it's uh, very appropriate again this fight. Swing always rises to the top. We haven't had a bath all week, so that'll be helpful. <laughs> oh, yay! Go, Gemma! <laughs> oh, God, 
are they're going to need to get those clothes dry cleaned. Give us some more champagne. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you can't see, it is 40,000 euros or pounds. I'm not entirely sure that Gemma has just won. Incredible. Gemma Tadishaw. Well, 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 well. What an amazing, amazing week. My first ever, well, I didn't tell this, my first ever time presenting on live television and I managed to not do anything crazily stupid. The lighting's actually better in the shade over here. Yeah, there weren't any major, major spills. Luckily, I didn't say any names wrong. I had some difficult names, like the ground jury was really hard to drill in and I had it in a certain order because I was told that'd be the order I'd interview in. And then they shuffled around and I was like, ah, I'm not rehearsed this. But no, just the most incredible, incredible experience. I've loved absolutely every second of it. I'm so sorry that my vlogging has been terrible. It's just been me picking up a camera, describing what I've done. Um, but hopefully it gives you a little bit of an idea. Behind the scenes of presenting, it's been so much fun. Remember, if you want to watch all of the Bicton action, you can get it on demand for 90 days on the Elite Eventing channel through Horse and Country. It has been an incredible event, so I would really recommend watching that footage if you have a rainy day or you just want to see Gemma Tassel win her first ever five-star event. Incredible. And news just in i mean it wasn't just in it was a little bit ago um but when they were doing the press conference Gemma's boyfriend actually proposed to her and she said yes so not only is she a five-star winner she is also engaged which is just what a day Gemma i hope when you rest your head down tonight you just go what a day and then sleep because you deserve a good sleep but it must have been so stressful and so frantic doing a five star but anyway so incredibly happy and over the moon and i really hope you enjoyed this what i finally lost my words finally they're gone i hope you've enjoyed this vlog massive thank you to elite venting for having the faith in me to actually present i was so nervous that first day but even on this last day i'd still get absolute jitters before i went live because it's just so different to what i do like when i mess up in this i can edit it out you can't edit live TV, so it was a little bit stressful. Big, big thank you to Bicton and, of course, Cheddington for supporting this amazing five-star. Who knows? Maybe it will come back. Maybe it'll be one that's on our calendar for years to come. I don't know. I'm hopeful. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, do give it a like, a comment, and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. I've been thinking about this outro since I got this job. So, without further ado, I live, laugh, love you. Mic drop. Do a little bit lower. Ooh, I sound like it broke. Bye.